I knew about Rex Brazier my whole life. My grandparents befriended Rex because they saw him walking down the road and he was kind of eccentric looking and I think they knew that this bird painter was living nearby. So my grandmother was determined to have him to dinner and she succeeded finally and they became very good friends. So I'd always known about him but I didn't frankly really appreciate it until much later in life when I came back to live in this valley, but I began to realize what a story it was. Rex Brazier was born in Brooklyn in 1869. He moves to Kent, Connecticut in 1911, and that is where he finishes all 874 of his paintings on this property near Kent, Connecticut. There are 874 paintings, but those paintings represent approximately 1,200 bird species. Really, he wanted it to be a teaching tool and really a documentation of the present state of birds when he painted them and their habitat. I can't imagine that a lot of that habitat isn't different. The collection was seen as a whole at the National Geographic in Washington. Time Magazine published four pieces about Rex. The Rex Brazier Association was founded in 2008. We all got together and decided that we needed to do something about the fact that nobody had even heard of Rex anymore. In the hundred years from when he painted some of these birds, or all of these birds, things have changed. Some species have gone extinct, many uh, may be critically endangered, endangered, threatened, vulnerable. And it, it raised a question for us, how do we document that? Part of our mission is to preserve his property. And a large part of that mission has to do with the threat of climate change. So the idea is that we can build small cabins, studios, out in the woodlands, which wouldn't have any electricity. They would be remote, but it, they would be places where artists could work, spend the day, spend the night if they wanted to, but work remotely in their art. The most important thing to him was that he wanted to paint these birds in their natural habitat. And really, those paintings are as much a preservation of the habitat that existed at the time because, you know, I think most people know most of Audubon's birds he painted from dead birds and Rex, he wanted to show them alive. The paintings, of course, are the key, but he wrote a lot, and so I think it's a gold mine. We've been working on this for a while, but it certainly does seem like there's a tremendous amount of interest, A, in climate change, B, in the environment in general, see in birds and in the natural world. And the beautiful thing about his work is that it combines the birds with the habitat. 